I just want to say, uh, at the final part of this video, there is going to be something that I did a while back about a YouTube comment deep dive. Just wanted to make it clear that I did try to attempt to reach out to parties involved and didn't really get a response, so I, I, I think it's just, it's just a dead end at that point. But I wanted to make that clear because I know I got some comments on, hey, did you try to reach out to him? And I did. Nothing happened. But for now, it's a page compilation? Question mark? I am making the least of my 20s by being in my 30s. Living with roommates is fun because you get to learn what their parents think should be refrigerated. Look, I get it's called cold cereal, but you don't actually put the cereal in the fridge. That's just, that's just psychopathic. I think this cat may be magical. Are you sure that's a cat? That looks more like a soot sprite. Oh my god. You give him a little sugary star bit right now. They took the vine from us! Sad apes in the jungle discussing deforestation. Poor Danky Kang. Yeah, I saw Babylon. Not good. Egyptian scouts circa 1150 BC after the invasion of the Sea Peoples. Yo, huge shout out to purple for being the only color that has like no losers. Deep purple, royal purple, bluish purple, reddish purple, pastel purple, dusty purple, lavender, periwinkle, violet, like banger after banger after banger. You know, except for that one time there was a guy that was purple. Unbothered, moisturized, happy in my lane, focused, flourishing. Pikachu's drowning. This ain't about him. If Tumblr explodes, you can address a letter to my URL and place it in any hollow log. To be clear, I will not receive it, but it is an action you can take. It'll be like being terminally online, but you know, in the forest. Please enjoy this official art of Articuno in a refrigerator. What's that guy doing in there? If we lived in a just society, every- Do you want quinoa salad with pomegranate dressing? Grumpy text post canceled. I'm getting free food from my neighbor. Life is beautiful. Alex and Steve Minecraft are T for T. Their dead names, Adam and Eve. In this essay, I will- Yeah, I'll just go ahead and integrate that into my belief system. Thoughts on polyamory? Well, thanks for asking. First of all, I think love is a weakness by another name, and you should be killing everyone with your demon blade. Maybe the true power is in learning to be weak? Oh my god, the reading comprehension on this site is awful. The true power- is in the demon blade. That's how it kills everyone. Where did I lose you? One time I dreamt that there was that Pucky Cho guy from Tumblr, but he was a 700 foot tall beast harassing one small Turkish town and the government couldn't do anything about it. But then Disney sent drones to vaporize the monster because of copyright laws. I woke up and had to Google if Disney owns Pokemon. Coastal town of your mortal like prepare yourself! Oh, oh man, this this went this went sh shorter than I thought. Why don't we just sit in silence for a bit? Yeah, that seems like good YouTube content right there. How you guys doing? You uh did you eat today? You should probably eat something. If you haven't. Maybe get a drink of water. Look yourself in the mirror and say, hey, everything's okay. Everything's pretty good. And uh, if that intrusive thought in your head says otherwise, you know, fuck them. Oh, deadly dang, it's a patch notes. Increase odds of meat room. Mm. Updated CTF Pelican Peak. Removed skybox bridge for DX8 users. Adjusted cow. And miscellaneous fixes. Removed geomes for good, moth person, serpent, gray alien world war event, Skrillex NBC, moon, and Shrek cryptid. Put it back. Added unrestricted max players to raise the max player count to 100. Features unsupported and not recommended. Fixed. You can no longer eat your own belt by right clicking it. Fixed. You can now start the game with paints. Other. A bug that caused armor vehicles that were hit to break the laws of physics and fly has been fixed. Oh, man. 
You can no longer arrange for a coffin to be made for the bereaved couple's child, murder the coffin maker, then go back and tell the couple everything was a-okay. This was a bug, you monsters. Decreased size of the frog. Look at him, he's so small now. When a skin is banned, players with that skin will have their skin removed. Fixed a bug that prevented players from being able to thank each other. Miscellaneous. Removed Twitter. Oh my god, finally. Hot water is now required to make bowls of oatmeal. Tim is now satisfied. Hope you're happy, Tim, you fucking weirdo. The mating tent. You asked for this. Great news! We fixed the hat! To celebrate our nomination for the Steam Award last month, we announced a sweet new hat! The Jagged Bug Basher! But something about the hat made the whole game crash for anyone running older Ryzen GPUs. After a bit of tinkering, we got the hat working now. We're not really sure why, or how, but it works! So now you can grab it! Fix some typos in three instances where it would say movement speed instead of movement speed. In my defense, you are allowed to combine words in Norwegian. Fixed issues with hysteria and discussing topics that are no longer relevant. <sighs> it's not fair. Because I like to look at hysteria and sometimes and go, YOU SHUT YOUR MOUTH WHEN YOU'RE TALKING TO ME! You know, you could record videos under a blanket until you get your sound panels back. Oh my god. The olden days. I haven't done this since college. Oh boy. Ironically, I was doing well. And then your email found me. How dare you. If you're happy for literally any reason, no matter how small or stupid, you're winning in this world as far as I can tell. Caring for little plants, old video games, a cat you love, a silly TV show. Isn't it great when people know what causes them joy and they embrace it? You should try it sometime. Yeah, sorry about your son. We meant no harm. Yeah, we only hurt him to disarm him. Yeah, no, we, we took no pleasure in his pain. We only wanted to escape, so... Yeah. I love piracy. Arr, collect me ships and doubloons. Wait. I can fix them. Relax, Bob the Builder. He got like ten other girls trying to fix them, too. You all look like a construction crew. Goddamn. Sorry for not posting for so long. Lost my phone. Then, what do you know? Found my phone. Send this to other bloggers you think are wonderful. Keep the game going. No. The game dies with me. There really is something in how AI art can't get human hands right, versus some of the oldest art we have is our handprints on a wall. I'm not gonna write the poem, you get it. The themes, you know, don't. Oh, he's pathetic. Awesome. Nice of the blah store to start selling furniture. Hey, Luigi. Look at him. Throwing his little moth jiggy. I love this little moth so much. Just, just absolutely friend-shaped. Oh, my God. I want emo versions of idioms. Like, instead of, you're barking up the wrong tree, it's, you're panicking in the wrong disco. You can lead a horse to evanescence, but you can't bring him to life. This isn't my first black parade. Talk about a rise and fall. Oh boy. One time I dreamt I was on the phone with my grandma and she was telling me about a good omens fan fiction that she wrote. Was it good? Asked my BF how work was today. You know, there's something magical about a place that you can't leave for eight hours a day, five days a week, for fear of being homeless. It's great. British people wake up in a bathtub full of ice with their kidneys gone, being like, Right, what's all this then? Hey, does anyone have the link to this month's Fur World Domination Plan document? <laughs> not, not, not that I forgot or anything, I just, I just need to know the codes. Uh, fuck my stupid Yuri life. And fuck my stupid Yowie life. Behold, a 15 year work in progress. Artists in the background. So talented. Yeah, I'm probably gonna like this character a normal amount. Oh shit. It's my wife with literally every Honkai male character. Well... I think this is good for the party's character development. Me, out of character, after rolling for the second time a nat 20 with a 4 on the d4 to set up the scenario of an expedition. Oh boy. Oh. My coping mechanisms may be worse than my actual problems. Shit. We did it, the new sound booth is set up, yay! Ladies, men, gentle thems. 
being in your 20s is about experiencing the worst thing you can imagine and then having to go to the grocery store. Because big, I get them bacon and eggs, am I right? <laughs> Technically, we are all always LARPing. Because the self is only a construct. I want a new character. Then make one. You know, everyone's talking about posts that changed their brain chemistry seem to be leaving out this classic, which probably propelled me into activism and more self-confidence in a way I cannot put into words. Except these ones right here. I'm such a I want your attention, but won't bother you kind of person. Yo, got that vampire autism where you gotta invite me in every time. <laughs> God, if this isn't me. What the Frank is a birth certificate? Why well, I gotta prove to you I was born, Mary Frank? I'm right here. Okay, now a minute's have passed. I can say fuck. None sleep. The, 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 left beef? Left beef. Left beef. Left beef. Left beef. Left beef. Left beef. L what? Left beef. For those of you that don't know what left beef is, Andy kindly p put it up. Delicious, isn't it? Be my anti-Valentine, where we try to make each other as unhappy as possible on February 14th. No, I already have one of those. Polyagony. This is fucking hilarious. I think one problem with the United States is that they forgot to name the country. Oh, my God, we did. Andy, why didn't you tell me? Hi, sorry to DM without consent. What horrifying new social rules are the kids inventing now? You can't just kidnap people and force them to play D&D. &D. Or can you? Permission to rot my liege? Permission granted. Inside, we are all wizards. And we all know a spell called love. It does 6d12 necrotic damage. And no, you cannot roll a saving throw. It just happens. Do you play fighting games? Every time I step outside. Android girl trying to flirt. Aaron's doom. I swear to God, if I see this joke with 2B from Near Automata, I'm going to make freaking lose it. Ah, shin impact. Ow. Woman shouts, I still love sharks, as she is pulled from sea after being bitten by one. Well, if they say me. Me, bleeding profusely from a missing leg as I'm being dragged onto the beach. This was a statistically unlikely occasion. If the shark wanted me dead, I would be dead. Sharks are important for their ecosystems. I do not condone any attempts to hunt this shark. If an animal kills me, that was on me. It caught me slacking. Let it eat me. If I get put in a PM Seymour or Bettina Levy video, you guys will tell me, right? You aren't gonna let me never know, letting the knowledge drift through human consciousness, but never once crossing the threshold of my mind, right? As a fucking little clown, I deserve to know, right? Only if you attend me. I would. Jesters need to help each other out. Thank you. I live in constant worry I'll end up in a video without realizing. Well, hello, tiny jesters. Ah, shit, Bettina Levy beat it to me first. Sorry, sorry, I can't, I can't do the whole thing. I'm sorry, it's, it's, it's done. Uh, I want to read more anti jokes for this channel. It's been years. Can you lovely creatures give me some of your favorites? In YouTube, it's your job to rate every single one. All right, let's go. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A non-zero percentage. After learning the word exponentially, my use of the word exponentially has gone up. Loads. Why didn't the skeleton go to the party? Because he was a skeleton and not capable of attending parties. A blind man walks into a bar. From my brother. What did the llama say to the postman? How do you put a giraffe in the fridge? Open the door, put the giraffe in, close the door. A man walks into a bar and orders a few drinks. He is soon very drunk and stumbles home. He sees his dog and asks how his day went. The dog says, Ruff! to which the man says, me too, buddy. And then they both go to bed. What's the difference between a mouse and a cute girl? What the fuck do you think? Have you looked at them? Knock, knock. Who's there? Dave. Dave who? Dave begins to sob wildly because his grandmother's Alzheimer's has progressed to the point where she no longer recognizes him. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Didn't ask. What's at the bottom of your leg that isn't your foot? My foot. What do you call an owl with carrots for ears? Whatever you want. It can't hear you. You know what? I should do this one of the really old anti-joke voice I used to do. <clears throat> 
What's the difference between a piano and a fish? You can tune a piano, and you can eat a fish. And finally... So this one's actually a favorite of mine, but before I tell it, I have to make sure you know how some of the wildlife around here works, because it involves a little bit of light. Right, so, bees are pretty stimulus-sensitive bugs, yeah? You've probably seen that one video where they're flying around a room and then suddenly stop because someone turned out the lights. You probably also know that bees get a lot less aggressive around smoke, which is why beekeepers usually have that little kettle-looking thing. Yeah, I, I've seen them. My mom's got one of those. Another thing that can really mess with them is the cold. Though this one's less known, but bees will enter a state of torpor when they get too cold. B basically, they fall asleep. You know, they, they slow down. Cryostasis. Yeah. Now, I say less unknown, but a couple of people might actually recall this fact because it was part of a ship post way back. Basically, the person would detail step-by-step -step instructions for a task, but they never said what the task achieved until the end, where they revealed that you accomplished having an angry bee in your mouth. Before anybody assumes where I'm going with this too, I'd just like to get this out of the way. I'm not going to tell you to refrigerate a bee, then put it in your mouth. Th that'd just be weird. Don't do it. <sighs> well, dang it, I stumbled into another rabbit hole. So let's start the story here. I have a little buddy named Baja who watched the, <laughs> the dead internet theory videos that I did before. And that got them curious and very aware to pick up on things that seem a bit out of whack. So they were watching the movie trailer for the upcoming indie horror movie Tarot when suddenly they noticed a comment that seemed out of place with 28 replies. Oh boy, what could this be? Well, hallelujah! The Daily Jesus devotional has been a huge part of my transformation. God is good. Was owning a loan of $47,000 to the bank for my son's brain surgery, Oscar. Now I'm no longer in debt after I invested $8,000 and got my payout of mm, $270,500 every month. God bless Renee Marie Harrison. Now you might be wondering, what does this have to do with the horror movie about tarot? I, you get, you, you got me. I don't, I don't fucking know. It could be a bot, could be a person. I don't know. It's a good bit so far. I gotta admit, I'd laugh if I saw this just random post on a horror video. But let's look at the reply, shall we? Hello, how do you make such monthly? I'm a born Christian and sometimes I feel so down ow of myself because of my low finance but i still believe in god thanks to my co-worker alex who suggested mrs mary elizabeth webb get that name ingrained into your system that's that is the subject for today she's a licensed broker in the states that's that's a completely different person okay after i raised up the 325k trading with her i bought a new house and a car here in the states also paid for my son's surgery oscar glory to god shalom wow that's nice she makes you that much please is there a way to reach her services i work three jobs and trying to pay off my debts for a while now please help me Great to see you guys talking about her. She changed the game for me. May God bless Mrs. Mary Elizabeth Webb services. She has changed thousands of lives globally. For the record, uh, Mary Elizabeth Webb works mostly in Chicago. We'll get to that later though, but I find that really funny. Finding yourself a good broker <laughs> is the same as finding a good wife, which you go less stress. You get just enough with so much a little effort of things. <laughs> oh boy. Hallelujah, God is still working wonders. I placed myself in position for such miracles. The best thing I've seen today on YouTube. Thanks a lot. Just to remind you, this is on, this is on this. This is on this. The fuck is this doing on this? Well, thank you so much. I'm really fascinated about investing and I'm lucky I saw your comment. I will look up for her and drop a message. You really inspired me. Please, can I sign in from Australia? Is it possible? It's just, I'm not gonna read out that number. In fact, I'm gonna censor a little bit because I don't, I don't want people getting any ideas. Copy it this way. YouTube is frustrating. What's APK? 
Oh, oh, no, oh, no. Same. I met Mrs. Mary Elizabeth Webb last year for the first time at a conference here in Manchester. And after then, my family changed for good. God bless Mrs. Renee? What? I have made more than 90K. God bless Mrs. Mary Elizabeth Webb. God bless America. Yeah! I started t with Mrs. Mary Webb in 2021, and now my life is good. Something to write home about. I thank God the most. He alone made it possible for the opportunity to come my way. It's a miracle, and I would testify 110k bucks every four weeks. I now have a big mansion and can now afford anything and also supports God's work and the church. Please, who is this Mrs. Mrs. Mary Elizabeth Webb? <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Her good reputation already speaks for her 100k last month. Her 100k. She's a licensed broker in the States. I have heard about her excellent trading expertise in CNBC News. Guess she's more popular in the United Kingdom. Hold that thought. Oh, I guess it was just a limited time broadcast. So, you're probably asking, the fuck's going on here, Pat? Why, why are you even talking about this? I fell into this rabbit hole and I figured you all needed to join me. But what I find fascinating about this is this seems not really AI involved. I think this is more like an actual group kind of fucking with people. But here's the thing, and here's the shocker. It's not Mary Elizabeth Webb. I don't even think Mrs. Webb knows this is going on. What this seems like is a targeted way to dupe more naive people into a fake broker program because, hey, Money can't really buy happiness, but boy howdy, can it buy us the food to keep us alive? Unless you're one of those really smart people that knows how to self-sustain and grow crops, and if that's the case, good on you. It's really cool. I don't have the motivation for that, but I'm glad you do. So Baha and I were going back and forth on what we could figure out with this person. So did a little hop on Google, typed in that name, and clicked on the first link, and we got BOOM! Th this is a site. Sure do be a site. Oh god, it's powered by WhatsApp. Now, I already have my suspicions because usually stockbrokers, <laughs> it's gonna sound mean to say, they usually have the money to do a better website if they have their own personal website. So I got a little curious because I know Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley is an actual broker company here in the States. But I wanna stay on Mary first. I wanna see if this is actually Mary. So the first thing I checked was that address, and uh, not, nothing really shows up there. Gonna give that the benefit of the doubt though, because that around it does have like actual other uh, investors and business attorneys and stuff like that. So it's possible that she works in like a firm that just doesn't get tagged on Google Maps. That's fine. So let's play around with something a little more serious because brokers usually do have a direct line of contact. So there's a phone number there. Just type that number into Google and oh, there's, there's no one there. Though for some reason, Google wants me to look up cake recipes. I'm on to you, Google. So now you're probably on the suspicious side like me. Like, okay, this definitely seems not legitimate. I gotta figure out if there is an actual Mary Elizabeth Webb that works for Morgan Stanley. Please let that be the case. And as it turns out, there is. You get past the fake website and Mary Elizabeth Webb, the singer, look at that. Morgan Stanley. You just click on that website and hey, you want to play the way of fucking shocking here. That's not the same lady. That's an entirely different lady. What's going on here? I'm happy to say, that this is the actual Mary Elizabeth Webb. Street address is the same, so I'm going to assume, yeah, it's probably just something they don't have on the map. But the direct number, if you search it, it actually goes back to Mary Elizabeth Webb. So it took a sigh of relief to realize that, okay, this person does exist. And then that sense of dread came in that the website we found originally and the comments were talking about the fake Mary Elizabeth Webb. The first site, the WhatsApp powered site. So I had to do one last thing before I could solidify and I got started on this video. I had to look up that image of that person who wants to be Mrs. Mary Elizabeth Webb. You wanna guess what the uh, results were? 
what the results were? D take time to comment on the guesses and then you can edit the reaction of like, did you call or did you not call it? You ready? It's a fucking bitch child attorneys in Tulsa, Oklahoma article. It is, it's stock footage. And I know this because other websites use it. There's another article by Kev's Best for five best criminal attorneys in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Bankruptcy law. And th this, I, I can't read that, but it's this. I'm going to lose my mind. Now the final reason why I decided to go down this rabbit hole. Because one of the comments in the daddy internet theories was that, well, sometimes humans can pull this crap too. And guess what? They, they're right. Guess why everybody wins? Everybody wins except people who get tricked into following these scam ass websites. My final piece of advice, if you, Sam, you right there. Hi, Sam, how you doing? If you're watching horror movie trailer clips and in that moment you'd realize, boy, howdy, I could use a stockbroker in my life. Please just go to actual websites and not the Christian sock puppet accounts on the YouTube comments that are praising this fake Mary Elizabeth Webb, who is also named Renee. Who the fuck is Renee?